in this video we will be going through the another problem and that problem we will just write down so first of all we will write down a problem so it is another kind of connection detail which we are going through so a tie member consisting of uh, SMC 225 SMC 225 at 25.9 kg per meter is connected to either side of the gazette plate of 12 mm thick Design the welded joint Design the welded joint to develop <coughs> full strength of the tie full strength of the tie if the overlap is limited <clears throat> to 400 mm <clears throat> so that's a problem and it is given that uh, that ISMC 225 it is to be connected to other side of the gazette plate of 12 mm thick and now uh, you need to design the welded joint now earlier we have designed a bolted joint now this one is the welded joint and to develop the full strength of the tie and it is given that the if the overlap is limited to 400 mm so now uh, when we talk about like this problem so I'll just draw first of all what kind of connection we need to do. So let us say So basically uh, this is your ISMC section which I have just drawn so this is ISMC 225 okay and this is to be connected with the gazette plate so when we talk about the gazette plate so this is going to be connected like this now since uh, 225 said that so this the depth is actually 225 so this is how the diagram would look like and now when it says that it has to be overlap is 400 mm you have the depth of only 225 so if you just consider uh, a 100 mm dip or let us have you, you would have the two different possibilities either you can make the two grooves or either you can make the one groove suppose if you make the one two grooves of 100 mm each so this is how it is going to be connected and this groove is of if we talk about this is of 100 mm so 100 mm so one 
this is two, this is three, and this is four. So maximum four overlap, as I said. So you will have the uh, particularly welding at this location. So likewise, you will have the welding. You will have the welding here. So this is how the welding would be, and uh, the connection would be with the help of ISMC. This is your ISMC two twenty five, and this is actually the gusset plate. So we need to just go through that. Uh, that how much? First of all, we'll be going through uh, as that of the earlier. We'll be going through the strain due to yielding, then strain due to rupture, and we'll we'll be calculating the size of the weld. Throat thickness of that weld. Once we calculate that, then we will calculate the strength of the weld, and accordingly total length of the fillet weld required. So that we will be calculating. And uh, so we will be calculating the total length of the weld required. So this is how the connection has to be there. so uh, basically here it is given that the overlap is limited to 400 mm so when we say overlap is limited to 400 mm so though i have said here that the particularly length so here we will get the total length of the fillet weld and accordingly we will will be going through it but basically uh, before that the overlap what does that mean so overlap it means that overlap of this ismc section and the gusset plate section so this is had to be 400 mm and this is be required to be limited maximum at this end as well as at this end so maximum it is 400 mm so this is how we will be going through the calculation part one by one so I'll just write down first of all step number one. And that is given data. So for ismc 225 so go through the steel table now from the steel table you will get the details of this tf that is 12.4 mm then tw that is uh, 6.5 mm then you will have this area that is triple 3 Zero mm square, and now for this uh, thickness of the gusset plate is given in the problem. So thickness of gusset plate, and that is equals to twelve mm. Similarly, uh, you know we have gone through a few b. That is four one zero newton per mm square, as well as Fu. That is going to be four hundred newton per mm square. So Fu is of actually for the plates what we considered it. so this is this is the given data according to the problem and we need to solve that is the step number 2 which is actually tensile strength of each channel so 
स्टेप नंबर टू टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ of each channel so we are going through the calculation part of uh, in the earlier problem and earlier videos and the same clauses we need to refer just like the first one that is the clause number 6.2 page number 32 so from clause 6.2 page number 32 of is 800 so this is the clause that is design strength due to the yielding of the growth section we have gone through this part in our last steps that is to calculate tdg that is equals to agf by gamma m right and similarly we'll go for the next uh, in the next sub part that is the design strength due to rupture and that is 0.9 an fu by gamma m1 So we'll be calculating first of all TDG. That is the strain due to yielding of the growth section. So this is AGFI by gamma mo, and you this you know this. Ag uh, that is the area is already given in the uh, by steel table in the step number one that is three three triple three zero so that is your gross area triple three zero multiplied by fy so that fy you know it is two fifty and divided by gamma mo so gamma mo it is again from the Table number five, page thirty. So this is your gamma mo one point one. So if we just now calculate this part, now here you will get around seven five seven point six. Sorry, seven five seven point six kilonewton. So here you will get the first one that is TDG. Now similarly we need to calculate TDN. So <clears throat> it is again. <coughs> from clause number 6.3.1 which i have just shown you as 800 2007 so here you will get tdn now So here T D N so this is equals to alpha A N F U divided by gamma M one. So alpha A N into F U divided by gamma M one is the formula. Area we know the area. Then we need to go ahead with the
that alpha So alpha is to be considered as okay. Uh, if we if I just show you this formula, so this one <coughs> is the formula T D N alpha A N F U by gamma M one. Where this alpha is to be considered 0.8 for four or more bolts along the length in the end connection or equivalent weld length. So this is how we will be going to considering. So this is on the same page number 33, and this is clause 6.3.3. In detail. So six point. Though I have written six point three point one as well as six point three point three to go for the alpha calculation. So now here uh, you'll have this zero point eight multiplied by a n that is again triple three zero multiplied by f u that is we have uh, we know. Uh, Which is actually F U B here because we want it for the plate, so that is going to be four one zero, and divided by gamma M one. So gamma M one is actually again, if we just consider gamma M one. So this is your gamma M one table number five one point two five. So divided by 1.25. Now, if we calculate this value, that is coming out to be 873.3 kilonewton. So this is how you will get uh, calculation of strength due to welding and strain due to rupture. That is TDG and TDN. So these are the two, and uh, for the welding, we need to have the design strength, and it has to be minimum one. So we'll consider out of these two, the design strength, whichever is the minimum. <coughs> so design strength minimum value, and which is equals to seven five seven point six kilonewton. This one. So we'll see the uh, other steps in the next video.